Hey friends, welcome back to Notes From Home. We are continuing to work on our exterior makeover. Last week we shared with you the painting of our exterior and now we're getting to the fun part. We are gonna be adding a front porch, a new front porch to the front of our house. And I had shared with you in an earlier episode some design ideas of how we wanted to possibly design the front porch. We thought we had the idea that we wanted, but we've decided to change things up. I've gone with a different idea and I wanna share it with you now. Okay, so originally the house has a front porch like this and we thought we could just keep it and put new columns, not like these, but different columns. But we thought we could extend the front porch like this. Um, but we changed our mind and we decided to go with something a little bit different and let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so you can see on this ranch right here how they enlarged the gable roof so that it covers, covers the front door and the windows, which is a similar setup that we have. And so we really felt like if we created a gabled roof like this, extended the front porch, that it would add height to our house. Right now our ranch house just goes straight across and doesn't have much dimension. And we thought if we put a large gable roof, it would add some height and some dimension and character to our very flat ranch house. So we're gonna do something similar to this and leave it open, new front porch columns, and all that good stuff. So that's what we're gonna be up to today. So now we have made a final decision on what kind of front porch we want, but we need to not only extend the gabled roof and the porch out and make it longer, but we also wanna make it deeper. So we're gonna add about two feet to the front of our front porch. In order to do that, Cy is going to have to build a new foundation. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. All right, I came out here and my honey's gotten a bunch of work done. What'd you get done? Well, so I guess first down here is that I got a few more of the pressure treated two befores. Yeah. Um, had to use a masonry bit and I've anchored those down to the to the old patio. Or front yeah. Porch. So what you've covered up so far is our concrete patio. Exactly. Okay. Then what you got here is four by eight sheets, uh, three quarter inch tongue and groove, and I use PL adhesive underneath. And um, so that'll set really good overnight. So but then that'll get covered with the party backer. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what the, the brick veneer will go on top of the hardy backer. Then I got, you know, just trying to get my template down for my uh, mm -hmm. ceiling rafters. Yeah, and I got my, roof. Right, and then I got my ridge beam, a two by eight in the back. You can't see it from there. Oh, yeah. so, and I got cedar posts. These will get wrapped with white PVC. So I wanted to have something that would not, you know, that we wouldn't have to replace every few years. So this, this is rot resistant and then the PVC of course will not rot at all. But um, we're gonna use one by eights so they'll be okay. nice and thick. Yeah, I want thick chunky columns. What are you doing right now? Uh, digging hole. Working too hard to talk. Yeah, make some concrete go out of breath right now. Go out of breath. He is digging some post holes and pouring some concrete in there for our new porch. Lowe's delivered all this stuff just a minute ago. So I got busy to work. It's freezing outside right now, so I know his hands are freezing. But we need this concrete to set overnight so that we can work on the porch tomorrow. Once I got the porch foundation built, I moved on to the roof structure and my buddy Adam helped me hold these rafters as I screwed them in place.
making progress. I have gotten rid of the right side of the smaller gable roof. So you can kind of start to see it looks like our bigger gable roof. And these beams right here are just support beams right now until he gets it all put up. We started putting some beams on the platform so our porch will be a lot bigger. So guys, even though I normally do a lot of these projects by myself, on something like this, I really needed Jonathan's help, and he was a huge help for me. I would call the measurements out to him down on the ground. He would cut the OSB plywood for me and then lift them up for me. I could not have done this without his help. So as Si walks upstairs, Jonathan is Si's helper. But it seems like, what, what are you doing Just down here? A little, uh... You just a fire pit there. Making a fire pit out of a The stump. thought was pour a little oil in the stump. The thought is yeah. that I could burn the stump. Oh, but then it really just at the same time. It, and then really just it got to I just want to make a fire. Right then there. you just wanted to be a little boy. Just, just that's what boys kid, like to brother. do. They like to make fires. <laughs> it's a nice outfit you got on too, John. Oh gosh, I mean don't call me cool for nothing. And then this kid over here, John's playing with fire and Eli's playing with water. Soaking wet. That's what we do around here. Why are you soaking wet? Um, we're it's using the hose. cold out. She's going. Oh yeah. Way down yonder. So y'all can see the reference of where this is on our house. <laughs> Jonathan is building a fire. I'm trying to back up and not trip over. There is Cy. We are racing against time because today is daylight savings in the time change and it's going to get dark show before them. 5 today. What is that? Ready? Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, Eli, goodness. Okay. Just getting rid of all this different. Different? Yep. This is not gonna go well. So we had a wonderful time last weekend. The kids got to play outside and Cy si got a ton of work done on the porch. We did, we're ready to move forward with it. So I had time to go to Kentucky Monday because I had some properties to work on there. Yes, and while Cy si was in Kentucky, you guys are not gonna believe what happened. On Monday, this showed up on our front door.